to the Crypto Podcast for Beginners. This show, if you haven't guessed it yet, is for beginners, but we're also going to be sharing useful tips that could apply to anyone. We're going to be rounding up the news in the crypto world, as well as covering useful tips to our crypto game. This podcast is hosted by myself, Greg Kong. I purchased Bitcoin back in 2017 during the heyday of the peak in Chiang Mai, Thailand. I got back into crypto in late 2020 with the help of my co-host, Terry Masson, who has a lot of skin in the crypto game himself with over $300,000 Canadian in his crypto. We would appreciate if you could leave us a review wherever you're listening to this podcast. And we also have a online crypto course for beginners. Whoops, hard cut. <laughs> hard cut, Greg. Good morning. Morning. How's it going? I, I just have one thing to say to you. What's up? Dogecoin! Push to the moon. Oh my God, what is happening? What I don't is know, it was 80% uh, up 80% yesterday now, 196%. That is insane. That is insane in one day. It's got the number five market cap spot. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow, so if we go to top assets, it's probably going to be in its new place. Yeah. So you're probably happy. You you had I remember we had that conversation about a week ago. Uh Elon tweeted and then I, I said I'm gonna get a little bit and you said you already got yours and that was before the pump. So that's great. Yeah, yeah, I've been holding on to a few for a while. Just for comparison's sake, like if we look at the Nasdaq, the top five is Apple. Microsoft, Amazon, well, there's two Googles, I don't know why, Class A and Class C, and Facebook. Mm -hmm. So th this is basically saying Dogecoin is the Facebook of cryptocurrency in terms of its share of the market. Yeah. That is insane. Bitcoin is Apple. Ethereum is Microsoft. And who's number three? Uh, number three is Binance. So Binance would be the Amazon. Yeah. And then XRP would be Google. <laughs> and Facebook is Dogecoin. And what just... is Coinbase then? <laughs> well, <laughs> One of the titans. They went up eh, since the since the, the listing. They Yeah, they, they it went, went as high as I think four hundred US. It's it's around uh three hundred and thirty nine point eight US right now. Yeah. Yeah, they had a really successful listing. I, I think good. I read somewhere that its valuation makes it worth more than NASDAQ itself. Yeah, it's probably true. Uh, this was just further sign that crypto is the future. Like it is like Bitcoin is the number seven of all currencies in the world in terms of how much money is in circulation. Is there um is there a site that puts those rankings? Yeah. List of countries' currencies in circulation. Let's do that. A list of circulating currencies. Okay, I guess just Wikipedia. Oh, it's alphabetical. It's not by dollar value. Yeah. I mean, I could keep searching. Yeah, no worries. Yeah. Um, I've discovered this uh, on Coin Market Cap. <laughs> they've got some some different type of rankings, yeah, like the crypto exchanges. Pretty interesting. Yeah. How yeah. soon before Bitcoin takes over the British pound, the US dollar? Like, I think it might have, it's close to surpassing Canada. Yeah. So this this is the fiat currencies. I actually just discovered this yesterday. Um, so it has the market cap. Well, this isn't BTC, though. Okay. It was one yeah. of the videos I watched this morning. It was probably the, the modern investor who pointed that out. He's he does a lot of good research. He's very animated. I love that guy. <laughs> yeah, he is. He's very a very opinionated, and he's very against fiat currency. And he just believes that every country's currency is going to fail eventually, 
mm-hmm. as the, as they all have because none of them are pegged to anything right there's no, no unlimited supply yeah they can just keep printing and printing the only reason why the u.s has stayed as strong is because it's just the might of their military you know so it's kind of backed by the u.s military more than i mean it's, it hasn't been backed by gold since 1971 but it mm. is it is backed by their warships <laughs> Yes, they uh, yeah, do have a strong military. Um, it's, uh, there, there's, I think Biden made a comment on uh, on crypto, something along the lines that he's concerned that the U.S. has uh, are lagging behind uh, against China when it comes to crypto. This might not be the exact headline, but it's mm-hmm. it's on his radar. Um, yeah, this one's about the digital yuan. Yeah, that w- that's gone live just recently, right? I think so. So, yeah, the national that? currency is it's a digital form, and I think the bank like they they dripped out some free currency to get people to start using it. Oh, that's cool, right? That is cool. I think Barbados was the very first country to have a central bank digital currency. They called that the sand dollar. Mm-hmm. But, you know, that's a very small nation, but to have China leading the way. Um, it's awesome. I think you can do a lot with a digital currency that you can't do with fiat money, with paper money and coins. Um, but it, it's very dangerous because now the government can track everything you purchase. They yeah, know that's every, the part, right? every, just like a, like if you take a picture, every picture has a meta tag, right? If you take a picture on a digital camera or on a a cell phone, your GPS data. um, Absolutely. You know, the time, the date, where it was taken from, you know, so, and it knows who was holding the device as well too, because they can listen to your voice. And yeah. Have you ever looked at the Google map timeline? I, and that scared the heck out of me when they first sent me, here's where you were in the month of March. I'm like, what? How do you know this, Google? Get out of my head. <laughs> yeah, I think most people don't turn it off. So yeah. they've got a Google knows where where you've been exactly, whether it's in Canada or, or different there, countries. There is some good of it. Let's say for COVID-19 exposure, for example, right? If there was a serious outbreak somewhere and you happen to be in the vicinity, they could give you a warning that, hey, you know, you, you might have been in contact with people and you should self-isolate. So, I mean, that's kind of one good thing. Yeah. But when the government controls the whole money supply and can track every single purchase, you know, they can they can dictate how you spend your money. Yeah. And they can also shut off your money at any time if, if, if you are a dissenting, if you have a dissenting view to the current political leaders. They're like, oh. You know, yeah, look what happened to Jack Ma. He disappeared for a while and he's like yeah. a multi-billionaire of a <laughs> huge tech company alibaba he's let's back cross our, let's cross our fingers i just see the postal the postal person <gasps> yeah she's got a package i don't know if it's for me i hope it's for me yeah so just just some context terry's waiting for his frosted rose gold i'm gonna unlock the door give me one second card yeah i'll take you through the story here Terry actually hit an all-time high at the beginning of this week. He just sent me a screenshot, but were you able to log in this morning? Uh, It's very slow. I've kind of gotten in intermittently. I think there's a mass sell-off, but it's rebounded. This morning I woke up and I was down 77,000 from my all-time high, and then it's come back quite a bit. Is that because of uh, XRP or Bitcoin? Um, you know, it's the buy the rumor, sell the news. Like everybody was really hyped about the, you called it the Coinbase effect. Yeah. And I think everybody at the beginning yeah. of the week and there's a bit of a drop off. Oh, I think it's here, Greg. That would be pretty cool if it was. It's it. This is it. This is it. This is it. This is it. The t- this is perfect timing. Thank you for All making right. this 845. You're welcome. Um, okay, let, okay, before you open it, let me just make the screen bigger. All right. Not that screen. Uh, should I'll I give sh- you a- <laughs> <laughs> solo layout. Wow. All right. We're doing the unboxing. For- <laughs> okay, I'll let you introduce it. 
Yeah, this is my second upgrade. I really love the platform we use, Crypto.com. Just has amazing benefits for its users. And one of them is a CRO Visa prepaid card. It's a debit card, so you load it up with money that you either fund from your account. Um, you know, you can send to your bank account by e-transfer, or you can sell some crypto onto that. And then as you use it for making purchases for just day-to-day -day stuff, they will pay you cash back in crypto. So the card that you have, Greg, is the Ruby Steel. So that's the second tier. That's the first of the metal cards. Like they have um, kind of the free one they give to everybody is the blue one. And that's a 1% cash back in crypto. And you don't have to stake any CRO for that. Um, for the first tier that um, I had originally and Greg has now is a 2% cash back in crypto. So they pay that in the CRO coin. So for every $100, that you spend you get two dollars back in cro at that time yeah oh we lost my screen here whoops sorry <laughs> there it is anyways and then there was a jade green card after that which pays yeah. you three percent cash back in crypto plus you get um on the ruby steel your tier you get free spotify so as long as you have your account charging spotify to that card then they reimburse you and this, the Jade Green is Spotify and Netflix. And now this tier, the Rose Gold, Spotify, 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 Netflix, and Prime Video. Ooh, Prime Video. Yes. And Expedia, 10%. Yeah, up to 100 bucks, which is great. I mean, I could, you know, yeah. I'm booking stuff through Expedia almost every month. Look at this beautiful thing. All right. Wow. Now, it said it was coming with merch. I was a little bit surprised because one of the perks for upgrading to this card, because you have to stake $50,000 in CRO to get this. You have to stake $50,000. I'm just going to do this. Here we go. Can you see that? This is the frosted rose gold. Wow, that looks sharp. Look at that. Oh, my, my, my. <sighs> It's got this extendable cardboard. Oh, this is beautiful, Greg. Yeah, maybe we can, uh, is it the activation process? Maybe we can cover that since you've just wow. got the card. Metal. Well, it's got that clinking sound. Yeah, it's got a nice, <laughs> nice feeling. Uh -huh. I have to remember, some are watching on YouTube, some are listening to the podcast, so they can't see this. But for those just listening, take our word for this. This is a beautiful, beautiful card. I'll cover the, my number, but here's the back. It's got a nice hologram on it. Yeah, yeah. maybe and, you should cover that, that number, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the number on top. Since it's prepaid. Oh, yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, I covered the whole number, so it's... Okay. So what's next? How do you get it to work? Do you have to call a number? Do you have to well, you go to the app? Um, it is a little bit slow today, but I'll give it a try. Yeah. I'm just looking. Well, while you do that, I'll throw up the, the chart. Okay. So here's the different cards. Yeah, 5%, oh. Greg. Look at that. For every 100 bucks I spend, I get $5 back. I was a little bit PO'd. It took longer than I was expecting because I've kind of been putting off purchases. I, I spent $700. A little bit of a funny story. I went to play disc golf after our, our last podcast. Yeah. And I just wanted to play me and me and Terry, you know, the other friend that we had on the podcast. Yeah. We should have him uh, back soon. Yeah. He's, he's, he's raring to go. He wants to do it maybe next time. Yeah. Um, but I, I just, we kind of made the plans at the very last second after the podcast to play disc golf. So mm -hmm. um, I didn't tell my wife <laughs> and then um, she texts me and she says she wants me to bring her back lunch. I said, okay, yeah, I'll bring you back lunch at 1230. And I didn't tell her I was going to play disc golf. She just kind of assumed that my podcast was running late <laughs> and I didn't try well, to correct her. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, I finished the game. I set a personal record for that course. For the first time ever, I actually finished a, golf, a disc golf course at par. Like wow. normally I'm 
above par, you know, like I get a lot of bogeys or double bogeys, but this is the first time I actually got par, a course record. And there was a guy there, yes, the, that day there was a guy there. Then the next day I'm playing disc golf with my wife and Terry again. And that yeah. same guy who has witnessed my par record, I said just casually, oh, that's the guy who saw me get my personal best yesterday. And I slipped. I let it slip. I let it slip. That she goes like, you were here playing disc golf yesterday. You didn't tell me. You didn't invite <laughs> me. You were taking me shopping. So she she made me. She made me spend seven hundred dollars on new shoes and skincare products for not telling oh, her. Oh boy. Anyway, so you, you use your crypto.com? I couldn't use it because it just arrived today. But I would have got thirty five dollars back in crypto. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, don't tell your wives everything you do, or else you, it's going to cost you a lot of money. <laughs> so. Um... Yeah, if you if we'll put a link below if you want to use the crypto.com app and uh, get a crypto visa card. Uh, what's what do you have to? How do you get get the card? Super if you're easy. Started? Super easy. Yeah. So the to unlock your bonus because everybody who gets this card at the Ruby Steel level and higher will get a twenty five dollar USD bonus. Um, so all it costs, and it doesn't really cost, like I say, it costs you this, it doesn't cost you this, but you have to stake $500 worth of CRO yeah, and so stake. It means park, park your money there for a period of time. Yeah. You buy the coins and then you put them in a term deposit. So you don't have access to them. It's 180 days and that will immediately unlock your bonus for you. And then you're also earning interest on that deposit plus the coins are also appreciating in value so it's kind of a win-win-win you get a bonus you get interest and they appreciate in value so and then at the end of that term you can you know you can sell those coins or you can transfer them to something else or stake them again for more interest i just keep rolling them over yeah so yeah midnight blue you don't have to stake anything yeah but you only get one percent that's yeah that's nothing i mean it's yeah. something but it's <clears throat> so you staked close to 40,000 US for this card. That's right. Yeah. And now it's worth 55,000? Yeah, because CRO is you is like a token itself, right? It's got some value outside of crypto.com. Yeah, um, it is traded in other exchanges. Coin market cap. Let's take a look at CRO. Uh, we we rarely talk about it itself. Uh, where can we find it? It is number it's number twenty-seven on coinmarketcap.com. Twenty-three yeah. cents. Here we go. Circulating supply twenty-five billion. Mm -hmm. They just did a recently, they just did a seventy billion dollar seventy billion coin burn. Like there was a hundred billion of these yeah. in circulation, and they burned seventy billion. And that's why the price went from like pennies to dimes. Yeah, I remember there was quite a surge when after that news. Yeah. And like that's uh, the amazing thing about this space, Greg. At, at any given time, any of these companies can say, oh, we're going to just eliminate some of the circulating supply. And then demand doesn't change, but supply goes down. So just, you know, macroeconomics, the less supply there is for something and the higher the demand, the, the greater the price will rise. Yeah. That's like a company like Apple or Tesla doing a stock buyback. You know, there's a bunch of shares that are in the marketplace and they just buy them back and retain more ownership of their company. Mm -hmm. And that also increases the price. So it's pretty amazing. Did you hear about Binance tokenizing Tesla? Um, this is like a dry run for the future of all finance. Like a lot of like, like on Wealth Simple, they don't do fractional shares. So, you know, to buy one share of Tesla right now is $700 US. Yeah. And a lot of people don't have $700, you know, to spend on one stock. But if it's tokenized with an exchange, you can buy a fraction of that share. So you could buy like a thousand. Yeah. Well, what they do, I guess the exchange would buy them um, or because they have to have some of the treasury and reserve. So whatever assets they're tokenizing, they have to actually own. So. Um, they're going to be the intermediary. So they'd buy, I don't know, 100,000 Tesla shares. Mm -hmm. And then they would kind of, so now you've got, you create a token now based on that asset. And then instead of having 100,000 shares, you could break that down into 100 million tokens. 
So now I don't know whatever that is. Ten thousand tokens equals equals one share, and and then you can just sell off fractions of it to people, and they have fractional ownership, which is really really neat. So this ticker is uh, it's got Tesla T S L A and then this B U S D. Yeah. So do they have a uh, their own U S U S token to represent? Uh, well, they would have because the Binance coin is BNB. So B U S D is saying basically, you know, we have dollar for dollar all the tesla shares we've bought with us dollars yeah and it's and it's a trading pair so it's linked so like i said they have maybe just for example they bought a hundred thousand dollars worth of tesla shares yeah but then they can just add a few extra decimals to that add a few extra zeros to that so that that coin could be fractionalized mm, you think it's worth getting um well i mean i have tesla already so yeah. I mean I haven't I mean for yeah you know, it's, it's, for, it, for beginners it maybe someone's on Binance already yeah it is worth getting absolutely um, because I mean if you listen to Kathy Wood from Ark Invest she says it's going to go to you know their bull case is four thousand dollars by twenty twenty five for Tesla, Tesla or coin for Tesla okay there's there's actually some news <clears throat> with Kathy Wood and Coin Coinbase she bought mm -hmm. her Ark fund invested quite a bit into coin that's amazing yeah let's throw that up there it's all being integrated like there's so much crossover now but eventually all the traditional stocks are going to be tokenized and there's going to be instant settlement like just yeah. like this is just the start of it greg i hope so real estate's going to be tokenized like you could get in with a hundred people and say, I want to buy this really ex expensive multi-million dollar property. And I want to, you know, be a, a part owner with a thousand people or tens of thousands of people. Yeah. They're doing that with NFTs right now. Like that 69 million million dollar people that sold, you know, 5,000 days um, that was tokenized. So it wasn't like the one company that bought it. Sure. They paid 69 million, but that was actually yeah. a conglomeration of thousands of micro investors wanting to take a piece of it. Well, that and guy that bought bought that art, he's since revealed himself, and he's he's like on the he's sort of like a celebrity now. He's going on all these shows and uh, <laughs> talking about the NFT space and why he got it, and like his his he's got an interesting story himself. I'm not sure you've heard about Nas. Nas, Nas little Daily. Nas X. Oh. He's a, he, I think he creates videos on Facebook, um, okay. like viral type of videos. He's got a video about the, the, the guy that purchased it. It's worth a watch. Okay. Yeah, like, didn't he collect like $130 million from the investors and then he spent 69 million on it. And then I think people got a kickback of 10% as well too, or 2% or something. So I think it was, it's almost like it was, uh, I won't, I don't want to call it go so far as saying insider trading or collusion, but there's like. You know, it's. I mean, it's legal, but it doesn't seem ethical or moral in a in a way. You know, mm. I don't know. There's there's some weirdness to it that I just leaves a little bit of a weird taste in my mouth. Mm. So here here we go. So Kathy Woods Arc Funds bought two hundred forty six million dollars stake in the in the Coinbase. So uh, yeah, they bought. Yeah, it's a lot. That's a big stake. Yeah, so you can get some exposure through her ETFs. Um, yeah. yeah, actually, I'm hoping it's it'll go down to at least 300 US. I'll yeah, I'll get one if it goes down okay. that low. Yeah, is it available on Wealthsimple or Interactive Brokers? Uh, it is. It was quite interesting on that day because I was expecting it it'll be publicly listed at 6 30 a.m pacific time but it actually wasn't on there on wall simple until after lunchtime yeah. by that time the price had already shot up and uh that's right they opened it up to um accredited investors first yeah. so they get first dibs to buy and the retailer retailer investors get screwed over they gotta wait but i thought the whole idea of going direct was to cut out the um you know like the underwriter companies like Goldman Sachs and um, yeah just just allow retail investors to buy directly from the the current shareholders but mm -hmm. seems like we still got screwed 
Didn't the owner of Coinbase, Brian Armstrong, I think his name is, he gifted every one of his employees. Uh, I'm not too sure what it was a thousand. I think it was a thousand or a hundred. I can't, I can't be a hundred percent sure. It's either a hundred or a thousand um, yeah. coin. Like imagine you're working for the company and then boom, your bonus is whatever it is, $35,000. It must've mm. been a hundred then. Cause you just have to add two more zeros. Nice. Well, I, I got my, uh, I decided I'm going to get my act together and I, I actually signed up for uh, Coinbase just to see Good. what the fuss is about. And um, yeah, it's interesting to see, you know, how you can, what, what coins you can buy on there and you can kind of com compare it against crypto.com. Uh, I think it's nice that they're based in San Francisco. They've got all this publicity. So I, I think it's, not a bad idea to hold some coin on there. Yeah, you need uh, a few off ramps, you know, especially like at the height of the bull run. Um, you you need a few platforms to either take money from or diversify or protect yourself from hacks. So, I mean, that's a good thing. Yeah, but I, I realize they they don't have a lot of the you know, the sexy hot old coins right now, like no. Doge, XRP, and Polkadot. I think they don't even have DOT. I don't think so. That is silly, Greg, because what is dot right now on the on the coin market cap? It's top ten. Mm. Like Polkadot and, is number eight. And they don't have ADA either, right? Cardano, which is well, well that got seven. listed a month ago, really recently. Okay. On and, all of Coinbase or just Coinbase Pro? I'm not sure about Coinbase Pro. I just I'm on the regular one. Right. And XRP has um, been taken off because of the lawsuit, right? Yeah, maybe it'll be back soon. Uh, Engine, I think that was recently listed. Yeah. EJ, ENJ. So I actually bought a little bit of ENJ on Coinbase. Good it was uh, thanks. It was a lower buy-in than Crypto.com. So that's something that beginners should be aware of. If you're just trying to get a, you know, just get a minimum amount. Sometimes the amount varies. Yeah, it's trading for three bucks now. Nice. <clears throat> But yeah. Did you ever, have we ever, I know, I know I had sent you some screenshots just talking about coins and their, their volume. Did you ever look at Fiat Leak? Fiat Leak, is that a site? Yeah, fiatleak.com slash XRP, for example, or slash Bitcoin, BTC. That's yeah. going to show you its current trading volume by country. And it shows it like a little laser gun going pew 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 pew, shooting out all these uh, uh, shooting out all these little like the the bigger the size of the trade, the bigger the icon. Is this like that that site you showed me last time, the three sixty with the big visuals? No, nope. looks different. This is different. Yeah. Is it this one? Yeah. Just wait for it to load right now. Okay. Uh, did you choose XRP? It's my first time on the site. Uh, oh, it's yeah. pretty, well, really busy. I don't know where to click on. Yeah, go to world. That's just US right now. Is, is there a world map? Or I'll share my screen. I just got to think how to share my screen again. Click, okay. uh, click share screen at the bottom. Share, okay. Share yeah. screen. Share okay, screen, let me, okay. Let me stop sharing first. Okay. <laughs> All right. One sec. This is kind of fun. I think this this website is tying up my resources. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty because there's a lot of a lot of activity on it. Yeah, I don't know what's right. going on. Okay, I'm gonna share. What does that look like now? You got to. Okay, there we go. There we go. Add it to can the you, screen. Okay. Yeah, I'll do can it. You, can you see it now? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, look at that. Yeah. So this is XRP trading for a dollar sixty-three. So this is the one that's got the most volume is US, which is interesting because a lot of the US exchanges they um, I don't know, they delisted. There's there's only like a couple. Uphold is one of them that's still allowing trading in um in xrp 
Actually, this is a little bit low volume. I'm going to switch this to BTC. Just see, just compare it to uh, Bitcoin. Okay. And then we can so, go Ethereum next. So this is live trading activity of a asset by country. Yeah, and then you can see in the it, it tells you which exchange the transaction came through and which country. Okay. Yeah. Uh, why is it still taking a while? Yeah, it's, an, uh, it's a resource hog, hard. this thing. Yeah, so, where, so Bitcoin, we can see where, which country is buying the most. Yep. Korea, South Korea. And you can just see the smaller the icon. Oh, there's a big a big icon that came through, a big B. I don't know how many big Bitcoin whale. Dollars. Yeah. Came from uh, below Africa. <laughs> 24,000 Bitcoins. Wow. But it looks like a little cannon, like little laser beams, eh? Like pew, 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 pew. <laughs> But you can see which countries are trading the most. But everything's mostly United States and then Europe. Yeah. Occasionally, you'll see Canada come online. Korea is also quite big. Okay. Uh, Japan has got a lot of action right now. And Africa. Oh, sorry. Um, No, what is that? Brazil, I guess. Yeah, there's something coming from down south. Tur South of Africa. Turkey is having some issues with their uh, currency right now with inflation and their currency being devalued. So there a lot of people are moving over to, to Bitcoin in Turkey. And uh, I think they're just trying to put a ban now on on uh, buying crypto, buying uh, crypto in Turkey. It's a scary thing. Anyways, that's enough of that. Just a, it's kind of cool. Fiatleak.com. Choose your favorite currency and you get real world data. It's okay. Cool. All right. So you uh, you reached uh, all all time high at the beginning of the week. We I don't, I don't think we had a chance to show your crypto portfolio reaching half a million. So, yeah, I know we have to update the intro because it says uh, you know, <laughs> Perry's got over three hundred thousand in the game. Yeah, now it's over five hundred thousand. Yeah. There's, yeah. Too much uh, every day, something new, <laughs> you know, whether it's Coinbase or some new coin. Or this yeah. is a very exciting space, there's no end to the excitement here. Yeah, so congratulations! New Visa card, Thank new, uh, new all time highs. What's your next, next step? Are you just gonna hodl or are you looking at buying some old coins to build up your portfolio? Uh, I, 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 I'm still a little bit, I'm selling a little bit to live. <laughs> so it's just like yeah. I came at the right time. Um, I need another, I need another income source. Yeah. Um, so we'll see. I don't want to be selling any. I kind of feel like I have to, I have a lot of my burn rate, my monthly burn rates quite high. I spend a lot of money. Yeah. Yeah. And you're in the CRO ecosystem. So uh, when you're spending, yeah. you're you're uh, creating more crypto CRO coins. Yeah, that's true. I mean, that's the great thing, right? So every day I'm spending money, but I'm getting 5% cash back in crypto. So all that crypto has to do is 20x, and all my purchases are free. Yeah. Well, you got a lot of those, so uh, <laughs> I know you're, uh, <laughs> you've had some nice increases there. Like. My Doge, like, I think I put in like just over a hundred US, and yeah, we're still like, getting paid Doge right now from the supercharger from last month's supercharger. So every day we're getting a little bit more Doge. So when I go into my Doge under my accounts in Crypto.com, yeah, I don't think I see those deposits. You know where it is? It's in. Yeah. It's in. It's actually not on your app, Greg. It's in Exchange. So you have to log into Exchange on a, a laptop or a desktop. And then you have to transfer it to your app. Oh, okay. They pay it to yeah. you in the exchange platform. So crypto.com forward slash exchange. Yeah, I think so. All right. Well, that's, that's important to know. Yeah. Cause all my Zillica was there. I transferred it over. I even had some, you know, some random CRO over there. I didn't realize I had uh, back in November, I think, or October, um, it used to be the MCO card, 
it, this the visa card we have is now called the CRO card, but it used to be the MCO visa card because it was actually pegged to a different coin. Mm -hmm. But then CRO just got bigger and better and MCO kind of fell by the wayside. But they gave you a 20% bonus to convert all your MCO into CRO. And it was paid on the exchange. And I think there was a five or a, yeah, either a three or a six month holding period before you mm -hmm. had access. So it was just recently released for me and it was just sitting on the exchange. I don't trade. I'm not a day trader, so I don't actually use the exchange. So uh, this is, this is pretty new to me. Uh, I mean, it seems like crypto.com is like such a large ecosystem. Oh yeah. You can uh, trade with leverage as well too. So if you wanted to take a lot of risk, you can yeah. trade with, you know, two X, five X, 10 X. I think they even allow 50 X leverage. You have to create another account or take, no, you are, the... it should already be there. It's tied to your app. Yeah. Have you ever tried trading with leverage or margin? No. This is this is the crazy thing. This is how a lot of exchanges make money. So let's say you have a hundred dollars and you go 5x leverage. Mm -hmm. So they actually allow you to buy five hundred dollars worth of because they they it's a multiplier. Yeah. So you put in a hundred, they loan you whatever five four x five x more but there's a caveat if it dips below a certain amount they could liquidate they can sell your assets so the the, 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 the thing you have to be really careful of is don't overextend because it, if, if it moves in any direction one dollar and you've got 5x leverage it's actually gone up five or six dollars mm. so as soon as like let's say okay so i go up i've got a hundred dollars and I get 5x leverage. I got $500 now. Yeah. Now, for every dollar, it's moving five. So if it goes down uh, $20, which is only a 20% decline, that actually is $100. So they would just liquidate all my 100 because they, they want that $100 back. So every $20, de if, if the price goes down by $20, mm -hmm. multiply it by the leverage, and they will liquidate. They will take all your 100 bucks for a 20% dip. But yes, on the same token, careful. if it goes up, if it goes up twenty dollars, mm -hmm. right? You actually that's a twenty percent gain. Actually, will double your initial investment because it's multiplied by five. I haven't really played with it. I've done margin trading in my stocks. Like I made yeah. a lot of money in Tesla that way, yeah. but that was only like a three x leverage. So every dollar I had gave me three dollars and thirty three cents or something. So I just I maxed out my margin account. And I borrowed as much as I could. So every time it went up a dollar in value, I actually got three dollars and thirty-three cents more. Well, but there were a couple times it went here. down, and they did a margin call, and they said, "You've yeah. got two choice: you can add more money, or we can sell some of your shares to cover your margin." So it scares you. This this whole screen is scaring me. Is this like a uh, Crypto.com Pro? <laughs> the <laughs> derivatives. Uh, okay, so this is the trading pair between crypto.com coin and, and bitcoin yeah derivatives yeah like this, this is, is like over my pay rate world. as well too this is the whole new world here yeah i mean we we'd have to change the podcast to crypto to advanced traders <laughs> crypto you know this is crypto for beginners but this this leverage stuff is very advanced and i don't recommend anybody does it until they've been in the game for a long time and really researched it well yeah but we have like, to log on here if we want to claim our our supercharger rewards or allocation. Yeah, yeah. I see you got you got to log in there. Just yeah. make sure you don't put your your login name and password on the screen. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that later. There's it seems to be a bit slow right now. Yeah, it it is already synced with your app. So um, when you see the list of all the coins that are on on exchange it'll show the balance of the ones you have so you'll mm. sh you'll show a positive balance in your bit in your dogecoin and then and then a funky face palm and then you just transfer it to your app it's pretty seamless you don't have to put any keys in or anything like that it's just a simple swap yeah okay well uh i'll give it a try sometime just add it to the list <laughs> How, has anybody bought your two hundred and thirteen thousand two hundred and thirteen dollar Dogecoin NFT? I don't know. I didn't get an email, so I'm assuming not yet. But um, you know, you gotta. It's easy to forget about these NFTs. Like if if they're up for sale for five days, you gotta relist it. Otherwise, okay. it's not, 
not doing anything. Yeah. Do you uh, want to try it at a lower price? Just something a little bit more reasonable and just see if you get any takers, like even a five X Greg, I mean, even a two X, well, maybe a two X isn't such a big gain on $213, uh, but would you try a 10 X? 10 X would be what? 20,000. 20,000. No, no, that'd be a, no, a 10 X would be 2000. You're just adding no, one zero. No way. no way. 10 times your money isn't a big deal for you. Wow. You're a high roller. Not, not with a, <laughs> an NFT from a celebrity. It's, it's so tough to get them now. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's take a look at today's drop. This is actually a, a UFC fighter. I'm, uh, actually familiar with, oh. he's going to be fighting a YouTube boxer, Jake, Jake Paul. Oh, right on, Jake Paul. Uh, yeah, he's a, he's a YouTuber. Jake yeah, Paul, but apparently he's, uh, he's, a, he's a big guy. Um, big guy is pretty good at boxing. So this UFC fighter is going to fight him pretty soon. And he's he's uh, he's, he's got some good uh, experience in the wrestling world. Okay. So now when, you, when a UFC fighter fights a boxer, are they allowed to do... Does it have to be all, all all punches, or can they do ground and pound? Because the boxer has no idea how to do any of the grappling. Yeah, exactly. So if it was MMA, I mean, I mean I'd say the wrestler's going to win, just going to just going to yeah. take him down. But what usually happens is they play by boxing rules. Okay, all right. Um, which it's not good for Ben. That's his strength. Yeah. So, but I mean, they're they're multi talented, right? Like a, an MMA can do both, you know, striking and groundwork. Yeah. Whereas a boxer can only do striking. Yeah. So uh, yeah, that's that's interesting. He's dropping an NFT. Um, this one's bro, actually honestly. not too expensive. Yeah, I like but... it's got a, a nice glimmer to it, like a shine. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, like that. Like that's kind of interesting, right? Where it does this twist and glaze, and the light shimmers off of it. If it's just a plain JPEG that doesn't move, you know, I wouldn't spend any money on it, but. Yeah, I, I've been experimenting with the motion graphics. Um, you know, it seems like in the NFT world, these the the graphic art that's really popular is that pixelated eight bit style and um, <laughs> like the motion. what are they, the cypherpunks or the crypto punks? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's a yeah, it's a good op opportunity to, to channel your inner artists. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I'll be buying buying this. Sorry, Ben. Sorry, Ben. <laughs> he's, cool. he's got one listed for eight hundred and eighty-eight dollars. I wonder what's the significance of that. Like, yeah, Snoop Dogg was two one three, right? Because that's yeah. his. Was that his area code or something? Uh, that grew up. His former group with uh, Warren G and Nate Dogg from, uh, yeah, back back then they used okay. to make music together. And they were just called two one three, like that was their band name. Yeah. That was their uh, group name. Okay. So eight eight eight. I know. I know. Um, you know, in the Asian culture, it's good luck. Um, Thirteen four is bad luck. Yeah. Yeah. Triple eight. You'll you'll see a lot of license plates with that. So I don't know. Interesting. Eight eight eight. Cool. What did we have on the list? Because we've, we've, like I see, we've been chatting for forty-five minutes, and I wonder if we've even covered anything on our itinerary <laughs> list. And I, and I have to go soon, so um, these I podcasts go so smoothly. <laughs> there's there's some big news in the Ethereum. Um, something about the Berlin Berlin the Berlin fork. Uh, yeah. I was actually on Coinbase, and I saw some messages that they're preventing some trading with ethereum i don't i don't have the details i'll try to look that up. i'm not sure if you heard about it what they do when the fork is coming is they just pause all trades just so nothing kind of gets lost in the transition it's just for investor protection right like if you're trying to sell or something or sell or buy or trade or cash out as the fork is happening it's like okay well does it get completed on the chain or not so it's just better to pause it all and then uh, let the fork happen, test the fork, make sure it's working, and then resume trading. I think it's good. That's a safe thing for investors. I wouldn't, I don't think that's a negative. Like if somebody, oh, I cannot, Ethereum's closed. Ah. It's like, no, it's not. It's, you know. uh, here we go. 
Oh yeah, there was a yeah one error. I think like thirteen of the nodes or something didn't take it, but they fixed it. I mean, there's no problem. Yeah. So what is the Berlin hard fork? Is this on the way to Ethereum two point oh? Yes. Yeah. It's multi multi steps to Ethereum two point oh to switch to proof of stake. Okay. And it reached all new all time highs as well too, right? Like it's twenty five hundred dollars. Like that's. Yeah, I remember when it was fifteen hundred earlier. Uh, earlier in the month, yeah, my, uh, my average price is two hundred and fifty bucks. Yeah, you you always you're always the early bird. Yeah, I don't know how long that's going to continue though. Like, I I mean we're in this for the long game. Like it, as far as the full market cycle goes, there could be, you know, there could be a two one or two years of down trading or lateral trading. So when I see that, then I'm going to start buying again. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, right now it's, I guess the, the the whole crypto crypto sphere is at a more or less all time highs, right? I mean, yeah. Bitcoin is pretty much in a territory that you know has never been, and Coinbase is only helping it. Then all the old coins are doing pretty well, and then you got Dogecoin. It's actually come down now but yeah pretty much everything is is going well right now so what i have a friend from the friend from the netherlands out? friend from the netherlands just uh onboarded and um you know it's like she she showed me all the all the uh coins she purchased yeah and I, she made really good choices really good choices but the one thing i said is, is like just like you're buying at all-time highs and don't be alarmed if you see a 30% drop in the next little bit. It may or may not come. I said, whatever you do, don't panic sell and, and lock in your losses. You know, just wait. It's going to come back up again. I mean, crypto is mm -hmm. the future, right? Um, there's just more and more indicators that this is where, all you know, traditional finance is kind of waning down and everything's moving to this space. You know, Binance tokenizing Tesla stock. Pretty soon everything's going to be tokenized. So every stock is going to have a representation on the blockchain. Mm -hmm. So you don't need you don't need your your traditional bank brokerage houses. You could do it all through crypto exchanges or even decentralized exchanges at that point. Yeah. Let's take a look at some of the the top gainers and and losers. I can't access yeah. it from my crypto.com app, but I can log in now. Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, and then Coin Market Cap also has top gainers. And they they have a different list. Shibu Inu. <laughs> Shibu Inu. I'm gonna send you a new screenshot because it. Um, I'm up to five fifty six now. Yeah, just show it as in, we speak. Show it in front of your camera. Yeah, I can. Would you get any of these top gainers? Shibu uh, Inu. It's not showing them right now. The app is a little slow. There must be a lot of volume going on crazy amount of volume yeah but the ones on coin market cap this is i'll tell you what i'd still be buying if i had money greg if i had money like i said i'm kind of drawing a little bit down because i just don't have an income source right now but i would still be buying xrp i'd still be buying cardano ada at this price and i'd still be buying v chain at this price yeah you're sticking to your my trifecta, your, the triumvirate. The trifecta, all coins. <laughs> yeah. yeah, those ones I believe so super strongly in. Yeah. Um, they're, you know, they're, they, it's, like I said, it's the solve the problem they solve. Yeah, good fundamentals. I, I, I mean, I got some a bit earlier than most, but for, for other people that are just starting now, I mean, it's, I'm finding a lot of my my friends that are getting into it now. They're chasing these fast gainers. Yeah. Um, like if something goes up a hundred percent, they're like, "I want to buy," and it's like, "Well, you realize that if it's gone up a hundred percent today, it's probably going to go down fifty percent tomorrow." <laughs> you know, yeah, for, nothing just goes up forever in a straight line. If, you know, people are going to start selling for profit. Yeah, you're you're chasing, right? Yeah. It's, that's why. Yeah, better long term. Long-term play. Um, I got some Litecoin. Yeah, that's one of the ones that is yet to really kind of pump like the other ones. 
and yeah, it, it's it's a sleeper. It's on the top yeah. ten. Like PayPal, you can buy it through PayPal. Um, Grayscale uh, keeps adding more Litecoin to its trust. There is a Grayscale Litecoin trust. Mm -hmm. You know, Grayscale. When I first started following them in like January, February, March, so it's been like a little over a year. They went from a billion dollars in assets under management to they just today just announced they have fifty billion dollars of assets under management. Wow. So these are people, Greg, who are like saying, I don't know anything about cryptocurrency. I'm, I'm in the traditional stock market. I don't want to create an exchange. I'm just going to buy it through my broker because that's the only way you can get Grayscale um, funds is to buy it through a brokerage account. Yeah. And so that means $50 billion of new money has come into one company. And here's the funny thing, Greg. Here's what I really want to tell you. They have a 2% management expense ratio. Do you know what that means? Enlighten us. Fifty billion dollars. Okay, so what is that? Fifty. So that's million. Okay, million times point zero two. So this company, Grayscale, is now getting a billion dollars in fees from a their billion, clients. From their clients. Yeah, that's their commission. That's their trading commission. That's a management expense ratio. So there's, mm -hmm. you know, it's two percent. That's and the CEO Michael Shonenshine or something. He he's very very clever. But that's a even Kathy Wood. She's got an expensive management expense expense ratio too. So Ark Invest yeah. is making a lot of money. But this yeah. is the way I see. It. It's like just cut out the middleman and just buy the coins direct from an exchange, right? That's what I feel. That's what I would do. And anybody yeah. who's out there who doesn't know how to do it or what to do it, like we are here. Like this is why we created this podcast for beginners, right? He's like, let us help you onboard. You know, let's save you some money. Let's give you some bonus money through the referral program. And let's help you kind of make money back on your purchases because there's just so many different benefits uh, available to the crypto investor. And, you know, we can kind of coach you and help you through that. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll put the links below. Uh, there's a lot of different ways you can learn about it. Uh, Terry's got his hand holding onboarding service we've got our online course uh links to the app uh any other news you want to drop before we end this week uh, Do dogecoin we started with dogecoin we should finish with dogecoin so um mark cuban owner of the mavericks he's been accepting yep. dogecoin as payment for yep. merchandise uh, he announced publicly that they're never selling any of their Do dogecoin so whatever dogecoin they receive uh, mm -hmm. for merchandise sales they're going to keep as dogecoin they're not going to transfer it to fiat mm -hmm. um uh, a nightclub a bar in miami just announced they're accepting dogecoin for drinks or <laughs> for payment okay so i mean i think the first time we talked about doge on the podcast was maybe episode one and i said you know basically you are just tipping reddit reddit users or reddit uh, creators yeah and then i someone of my friends corrected me and said no there's like 40 different uh, uh businesses that are accepting doge's payment and it just keeps growing and growing and growing but the reason i think it really surged right now is the yeah. wall street bets the same guys that kind of pumped up um, gamestop gamestop amc theaters oh, yeah. yeah are you in that kind of, group uh no um, i mean i, I kind of follow it indirectly because a lot of the youtubers i follow yeah but it's, I don't like to read too much. <laughs> I'd rather just watch videos. Ah, uh, well, this is this like... is how I get my information, Greg. I lie, I lie down and close my eyes, and I have my phone on my pillow, and it's a video. It's a YouTube video, and I just I fall asleep to influencers. Robin Hood actually suffered an outage as Dogecoin surged. <laughs> this is a nice little uh, gem on Coin Market Cap. Like for each coin, they've they've curated the news around the internet. Okay. So if you want to learn about a coin and just check out what the latest is, it's good. It's a good source. Yeah. So that you mentioned What's Turkey bans crypto payments. It's got it's on there. Fundamentals out the window. Do, One dollar Dogecoin incoming. Do you really think it can reach a dollar? Well, I didn't even think it could reach reach thirty cents, and here we are, right? So yes, but what would the, what number on the market cap would it be if it was a dollar? I mean, if it's if thirty cents put it to 
eighth or number five. What is it? Number five now? Market caps 42. 42 yeah, Dogecoin. Million. Dogecoin is fifth in market cap. Okay, wow. so 30, 30 cents gives it 50,000. So a dollar, you'd have to kind of multiply. It'd be 150, 150 billion in market cap. That would make it number two. It would be Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Dogecoin. Yeah. <laughs> so you think it's time to start taking Doge seriously? It's, I mean, it's up there on the, it's number seven coin market cap. It could go two ways. It could be like this is a peak, and everybody's gonna profit sell, and it might just plummet from here. Yeah. Or they could announce we're gonna do a token burn, and we're gonna because right now it's inflationary. Like you're, they're mining, they're adding a million. I don't know what the time frame is, but it's, it is inflationary, meaning there's more coins that are being produced. Oh, so there's no limits. There's no limits right now. Every day, so like however many million coins are being added to the stockpile. Yeah. But at any moment, they can burn, right? They can just say, hey, listen, we like what Doge is doing. We, we want to take it seriously now. We want to really kind of control its growth. So let's burn. Just like Crypto.com, they burn 70 billion coins, which is 70% of its circulating supply. So if they did the same for Dogecoin, wow, the price would just skyrocket. But, you know, it could go to zero. <laughs> yeah. It could yeah. get hacked. It could don't, be don't like some everything. critical error. <laughs> don't put everything in the Doge, but yeah. get get some. Get some this so you don't miss out if it does go to the moon. Right. This is why, like, people who are listening to us, like, we're only really providing our opinion. We're not licensed financial advisors. So, you know, do your yeah. own research. Don't sue sure. me, bro. <laughs> if you lose all your money, it's like, oh, I lost all my money too because I'm I'm telling you to invest in the same things I invest in. So, yeah. So don't put don't put it all in there. This is not financial advice. Right. Like, subscribe. <laughs> See you next week. <laughs> this is the best, Greg. Let's keep this ball rolling. I love working with you. This is so much fun. All right, thanks. I'm gonna go play disc golf, but I am gonna tell my wife this time so I don't have to buy more expensive face cream. All right, I'm gonna share my whole travel story on uh, another another podcast. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure uh, it will lead in the crypto somehow. Is it going live? I want to make sure to listen if it goes live. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm going on their platform. They've got the whole oh. different setup, and I'm dealing with the middleman. So it, yeah, I have no idea how you manage to do all the things you do. You're the busiest person I've ever, the most productive, busiest person uh, I've ever met. So kudos to you. Thank you. I'm super happy to be aligned with you. Thanks. Cool. Yeah. Let's. Uh, yeah. So, guys, uh, if, if you're listening to us on Spotify or watching on YouTube, uh, we appreciate a, a good review, like, subscribe, or comment. And um, yeah, let's keep this going. Ha have a great weekend. All right. Enjoy. Peace. Okay. Bye.